All right, this is John Kohler with DiscountJuicers.com. Have a juice off today. So one of the biggest questions I get lately is, hey, John, what juicer juices wheatgrass better, the Omega 8004, 8005, 8006, or 8003, or the Omega Vert? Well, you know what? I grew two flats of wheatgrass just for this purpose. So we're going to put the wheatgrass through the wheatgrass juicers and find out how much juice we get. Let's go ahead and get started. First, we're going to use the Omega Vert Juicer. The Omega Vert Juicer is a vertical single auger style of juicer. And, uh, you know, it does work fairly well for most produce, but, you know, there have been some problems with it uh, juicing leafy greens. So if you want to juice a lot of leafy greens or a lot of wheatgrass, and I even had a customer tell me that it doesn't juice wheatgrass, so let's juice one flat and see what happens. Turn it on, and we're just going to basically cut the wheatgrass and take it and put it right in. It's very important when you're juicing wheatgrass to get fresh wheatgrass. The other thing you may notice on the Omega Vert juicer is that it does make some squeaking sounds while we're juicing. As fast as you can put that wheatgrass in is as fast as the Omega Vert juicer will juice. And you want to just put a little bit in at a time. You don't want to try to crowd the whole machine and shove it down too much at once. So you can see, finally, we put it all in. We're getting the juice out, but you know what? No fiber's coming out. And actually, some juice is coming out of the, uh, the pulp ejection port. But you know what? That's quite normal until we get some more grass in there. And I'm continuing to cut the weak grass and put it into the Omega Vert juicer. You know, so if you only juice like a handful of wheatgrass, what's going to happen is you're just not going to get any pulp out. There needs to be pulp pushing the pulp, other pulp through, and now you can see we're finally getting some pulp out. This is all done in real time. This wheatgrass is grown in soil and rock dust, so I highly encourage everybody to grow their wheatgrass in rock dust minerals. It'll make your wheatgrass much, much sweeter. If you can't get rock dust minerals, use ocean grown. We're going to continue to feed the uh, grass in. Look, take a look at that pulp. Now this pulp, you know, you might think it's a waste product, but you know, you could feed this to your worms. You could actually use this as a poultice. So if you have a cut, you can put it on your cut, tape it on there, on uh, pimples or acne. You know, try it and see what happens. Wheatgrass is really rich in chlorophyll. I think that's why it's really good for us. Also really rich in nutrition. But I think the biggest benefit of the wheatgrass is that, you know, it's alive until the time you cut it. If you're buying it by the flat, it's still growing unless you get it, you know, pre-packaged. I don't recommend getting it pre-packaged unless you can't grow it yourself or, you know, buy it by the full flat. All right, so that's the rest of the wheatgrass juice. The wheatgrass, you can see our flat is pretty much done. And it's very important when you're done juicing with the Omega Vert Juicer is, you know, let it run a little while. There's still... You can kind of still see the pulp coming out, you know, millimeter by millimeter. It's still working and some juice continues to dribble out. So we're going to go ahead and give that another minute while we set up the Omega 8005 Nutrition Center. So we're all ready to juice our flat of wheatgrass in the Omega 8005 Nutrition Center. This happens to be my own personal unit. I've had for many years the Omega 8003, 8005, 8004, and 8006 are all identical and work the same and your yields will be the same. The only difference is basically the 8004 and the 8006 are the upgraded model. The Omega 8004 and 8006 have a 15 year warranty, whereas the 8005 and 8003 have a 10 year warranty. I've owned this machine for many years. It's still working really well and I've found no reason to upgrade to the 8004 and 8006 because they are the same machine, only the warranty is different and also the 8004 and 8006 have a eight times harder auger which is more durable. So let's go ahead and get started. We're gonna turn on this machine. All these machines run at a low RPM, under 100 RPMs. They work really well and they're very quiet. So we're gonna go ahead and turn this on. We're gonna start and uh, start clipping off some of this wheatgrass and putting it into the machine. Always the machines come with plungers and only use the plungers to uh, feed produce into the machine. You can see instantly we're getting some wheatgrass out, wheatgrass juice out of the Omega 8000 and 
5 Nutrition Center, which is the same as the Omega 8006. And, uh, you know, it comes out a lot faster than the Omega Vert Juicer. Once again, there will be a little bit of a noise when juicing wheatgrass. And you know what I'd like to say is, uh, originally they used like a meat grinder to you to you know juice wheatgrass, and they modified the that meat grinder design to a single auger style design, which is pretty much like this exact system here. And uh, that's why I feel this kind of machine is going to do a little better than wheatgrass with wheatgrass than the Omega Vert juicer. But you know what? This is a juice off, and we're going to compare our results afterwards. Right now what's happening is the juicer is breaking open those cell walls, the cellulose, the fiber of the wheatgrass to expose the liquid gold, the nutrition, the nutrients, vitamin, minerals, and enzymes, and chlorophyll of the wheatgrass. And when that happens, once that happens, you know, it oxidizes. And we don't want oxidation, so we want to prevent and minimize oxidation. The best way to do that is to drink the juice right after you make it. Okay, so you can see here we're almost half done juicing this flat of wheatgrass. The Omega 8000 series, including 8003, 8004, 8005, and 8006, take me under a minute and a half to clean, whereas the Omega Vert takes me under three minutes to clean. So the Omega 8000 series are, you know, much easier to clean. And you know what? A juicer that is easier to clean will be used more often. One of the other things I've seen on the Omega Vert and gotten feedback from our customers is that the Omega Vert tends to make a little bit pulpier juice than what some people are used to. So if you like a pulpy juice, then by all means go for the Omega Vert. If you don't like a pulpy juice, then you might want to look towards other juices. All right, here's the last bit of wheatgrass on our wheatgrass juice off between the Omega 8000 series and the Omega Vert. All right, there you have it. We have a couple straggling wheatgrass, but uh, that's pretty much it. All right, so we just finished up juicing in the Omega 8000 series juicer, the wheatgrass, and now we're gonna see how much juice we got. So we have two uh, one cup Pyrex uh, measuring cups, and first let's take a look at the pulp. You can see the pulp coming out of the uh, Omega Vert juicer is in this kind of a uh, design, uh, really tight packed, and this is uh, out of the Omega 8000 series. We'll squeeze this. You can see, you know, there's a little bit of juice coming out. And the Omega Vert, you know what? There's still a little bit of juice coming out. So the thing you could do on these is that you could run these back through the machine, you know, a second time on both machines after you're done juicing the first round. It'll squeeze out more juice. And we're not going to cover, you know, juicing a second time. We're just testing the first time through to see how efficient each machine is. So here's the juice from the Omega 8005 basically which is representative of the Omega 8000 series and uh, there we go we got a little bit of foam there we're just gonna pour it all in and uh, see what we got so here's the uh, juice wheatgrass juice from the Omega vert juicer and once again we're gonna pour that all in there and see what we got so just uh, you know without even the add in the foam I definitely saw that the Omega 8000 series was much more juice. So let's take a look at the difference. So it looks like the Omega 8000 series had approximately 7 ounces of juice in that flat of wheatgrass I had. And the Omega Vert juicer had approximately almost 6 ounces of juice. So, uh, you know, probably a little bit more than an ounce more efficient in the Omega 8000 series than the Omega Vert. Plus the Omega Vert tended to make a little bit more foam. So you could clearly see with wheatgrass the Omega 8000 series was more efficient than the Omega Vert, but both juicers juiced wheatgrass and did a respectable job. The other question I get a lot is, hey John, what juicer should I get between the different two? Well, you know, that depends. If you want to juice a lot of wheatgrass and leafy greens, definitely go with the Omega 8000 series. I'd recommend the 8004 and 8006 
They also have the benefits of having a blank plate so you could basically make frozen banana sorbets and nut butters and other things, whereas the Omega Vert Juicer is only set up as a juicer. That being said, the Omega Vert Juicer is, is better for juicing a wide variety of produce if you don't know what you want to juice. If you want to juice a little bit of leafy greens, some carrots, some fruits, and other things, the Omega Vert Juicer is the way to go. It's pretty much an all-around good performer, whereas the 8006 is definitely going to do better on the wheatgrass, the leafy greens. Now, it's going to do all right in the carrots, and it'll juice fruits as well. But that's where the Omega Vert shines. So, you know, you got to weigh out what you want to juice and buy the juicer that's going to do the best for you. Hope you've learned a little bit today about juicing wheatgrass and these two juicers. This is John Kohler with DiscountJuicers.com. Be sure to visit DiscountJuicers.com slash YouTube for special promotional offers for our YouTube visitors. All right, this is John Kohler with DiscountJuicers.com. Have a juice off today. So one of the biggest questions I get lately is, Hey, John, what juicer juices wheatgrass better the omega 8004 8005 8006 or 8003 or the omega verts well you know what i grew two flats of wheatgrass just for this purpose so we're going to put the wheatgrass through the wheatgrass juicers and find out how much juice we get let's go ahead and get started first we're going to use the omega vert juicer the omega vert juicer is a vertical single auger style of juicer and uh, you know it does work fairly well for most produce but you know there have been some problems with it uh, juicing leafy greens so if you want to juice a lot of leafy greens or a lot of wheatgrass and I even had a customer tell me that it doesn't juice wheatgrass so let's juice one flat and see what happens turn it on and we're just gonna basically cut the wheatgrass and take it and put it right in it's very important when you're juicing wheatgrass to get fresh wheatgrass the other thing you may notice 